Hey everybody, it's Coach Soretti here, the men's basketball coach at Dickinson. Uh, hoping you and your family are staying safe and active during these unprecedented times. Uh, looking forward to when we can all get together uh, soon in a, in a more normal setting. Uh, specifically talking to you today about the NCAA's inaugural Mental Health Week. Uh, it's an important topic for the department and specifically for our team. And there are a few things that we try and do with the guys to make them aware of this issue and more importantly, make them aware of, of how to attack it if it affects them. Uh, I think the first thing we talk about with our guys from the very first meeting we have on our academic sessions is about the acknowledgement that it could happen. That you know, if you have feelings that you haven't had in the past, uh, if, you ha if you have anything from homesickness uh, through anxiety, depression, or, or other issues, you're not alone. Those feelings are more common than you may think. And you know, once you acknowledge the, the fact that that's, that's a normal occurrence, that that's something that happens, you're much, much more likely to be able to get the help that you need. Uh, we also talk about recognizing those feelings uh, in others. You know, you, when you see a teammate or someone that's close to you who doesn't feel quite right and you feel like you, you might want to reach out, maybe you have an intuition there that, that you can say something, your first instinct might be right. And you might want to check in on each other to make sure that the people close to you, in this case your teammates, are doing okay. Uh, the second thing we do is we have the counselors come in from the Wellness Center at Dickinson to speak to our team. Uh, I think it's important not only to talk about those feelings and what could happen, but more importantly, to know who to talk to. You know, if our, if our guys can put a name to a face in the Wellness Center, they might feel more comfortable when they need to reach out, going to that, to that office and seeking the help that, that could be there for them. So again, having key points, having people on campus where you know you can go get that help, um, where you know you can speak to somebody and how to do that is really important. And then lastly, just like uh, you excel as a student athlete in the classroom, you excel as a student athlete on the court, in the field, in the pool, wherever you are, um, you know, realizing that this is something you're going to attack every day. You know, if, if whether this is a, a, a stage that you pass through time or something that's with you throughout the course of, of, of your days, um, you, you have to control what you can. You know, when you're, when you're not feeling quite right, you know, who are your point people that you want to talk to? Who do you trust? Uh, who are your outlets on campus? Um, how do you go about dealing with the days that aren't, aren't as good? So again, um, that's, a, that's another thing we try to impart to our guys, that, that the mentality that they already have that has made them be as successful as they are, you know, it's not going to solve this problem, but can certainly help manage it. And, and there are others out here who want to help you manage it. Uh, so again, from our end, the acknowledgement and recognition of how you're feeling, uh, the ability to know who to reach out to, and, and then lastly, how do we handle that day to day? How do we manage that? Um, those are the important parts that we, the key parts that we do with our guys and, and we'll continue to do moving forward. Again, just want you to know that the, the athletic department here at Dickinson does care, they do listen, and we want to attack these issues best we can and help the student athletes in any way possible. Again, best to you and your family. Uh, stay safe, stay well, and we'll be together again here real soon. Thanks.